15th of November 2012. The train again. America again. That great continent. A South American lady asks you if you liked growing up in America. You say, yes I did. She asks, really? You say, yeah. When you're small, big things look really big. Yeah. All the time, positivo, she says in Spanish, hinting it is tiring to keep up a positive mood. Yes, I answer. That's true. Good morning, sir. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you very much, sir. We both gesture in an exaggerated manner. America, with its predisposition to happiness, makes people with a predisposition to unhappiness unhappily happy. But this time it feels different, a little bit different. And you think that's good. And she says, yeah. And you say, yeah. 23rd of November, 2012. The morning, it comes, it rains, it coffee, it happens, it mornings, it silence, it occurs. The morning is an event. 24th of November, 2012. Light supply, Amsterdam. A line, lights, many people running. They seem like they can steal my laptop. Rain on the ground, music, bikes. Some guy is smoking a big joint. The tram lines run. We just finished our performance. It was nice. Elegance, says one street sign. R&B, says another. People, plastic bags, an orange umbrella. A strong smell of weed coming out of the coffee shop. A Burger King. Someone says money. More umbrellas, more plastic bags, surfaces, cigarettes, haircuts, coats, girls, guys, keys, a bike, a tram, a guy with a coat looking at my laptop and bags, two guys laughing, a few girls throw some Red Bull cans into a garbage can, a guy in a rickshaw, a theatre building with the sign Macbeth on it, Below it, another sign says, to see or not to see. Two Spanish guys pass by with cotton hats saying, Amsterdam. Me? I'm drunk. I'm okay. With a black coat on a brown bench, another rickshaw guy passes. Some guy says bye to a girl. Bad fashion. A flashlight. 25th November 2012 to work around things, to shift them, to replace one with another. To exchange values, to redefine, reshape, remaster, remix. Re, re, re. To rest someplace, to let it rest. To change your ways, to come back to them. To change again, to create sockets, pockets of air. The breath reaches a high point and a low point. Somehow, somewhere, sometime, you always find yourself back on the saddle. It's never really gone. What has gone are layers of times, somehow, somewhat, peeled off by their own movement. And you imagine a place, a list, where all these changes take place, whilst at the same time not really taking place. The internet and the computer are helpful for that illusionary space. It's there and not there. It allows you to dream, to expand. It harbours your imaginary right and wrong doings by presenting an ordered software and hardware to renegotiate your own order, your own mechanism, the state of your affairs, the never-ending, yet always-ending, life that you are living today and the next day and the next. So rewire, refine, recruit, whatever energy is left in you, make it happen. Reach that land. It is there waiting for you. You called for it to appear. Don't hesitate. Make way. 
you will become. You will become. 28th of November 2012 The sun, the coffee, a banana, a milk carton, things on the table, stuff, kitchen towels, a poster in Arabic saying a thousand and one nights, the sound of the fridge, plants, me, I'm putting sugar in the coffee, I'm drinking the coffee, sitting, a red chair, a beautiful autumn day, a few emails are awaiting, actually just one, I can't open it yet, in the meantime I write, writing is a diversion, a detour, passing by something, writing hints about a situation, the contours of a reality, its shape, a substitute. Me? I'm a substitute teacher. I teach how to substitute this with that, them with us, me with you. 29th of November 2012 I will try to write not about myself for the sake of space, in order to give you a place. I will not drink the tea. I will not look through the window. I will not write about my doubts, my fears, my memories from today. Instead, I will give you space in order to give you a place. I will pour the tea, not for me, but for you. I will look through the window, not for me, but for you. I will write my doubts, my fears, my memories from today, not for me, but for you. 1st of December, 2012. The night turns into a day. The day starts. You have a plan. You write it down. You have a feeling of a grip on something. You have a direction. You make yourself some coffee. You drink it. This time you drink it differently. You drink it like in the movies, like when they drink coffee just before they do something else. Leave the house, take the kids, go to work, mow the lawn, make eggs, whatever it is. It's a different way of drinking the coffee. It's actually not really drinking the coffee. It's just playing the role of the guy drinking coffee. It's just a stand-in. A stand-in for the coffee. The essence of the event is the coffee. Not you, nor the actor, the coffee. It can almost drink itself by now. By the point we have reached in history, coffee is charged. Decaf coffee, milk coffee, black coffee, whatever it is, this coffee thing, it's a vehicle. And the lone rider, the guy or girl who drinks that cup of coffee in the movies, is riding that vehicle. The coffee takes them places it brings them forward but what it leaves behind is nothing much but a residue a stain a mark a trace a trace of coffee i will read your cup of coffee and tell you your future just like those fortune tellers tell you your future by reading the cup of coffee you have drank perhaps they have already understood the role of coffee drinking it is always part of a story, a continuity. So they capitalise on this feeling of the coffee being part of a continuity and they tell you what's going to happen next in your life story or whatever. But what they are actually doing is listening very carefully to the role of coffee, to how we as humans use it, understand it, drink it. 5th of December 2012. A milk carton box, the silver sugar thing, a spoon, a book, the lover. My digital pocket camera, the coffee filter machine with a cup half full with coffee. My laptop charger, some pink post-its. A plaster bandage on the finger of the woman across red seats. Lines passing. A TV monitor above. Images from poor neighbourhoods. A guy with a coat standing. A lady announces a station. Newspapers. Posters. Socks. It's early morning. A sleepless night. 
Mobile phones. Fingers touching mobile phones. The lady announces another station. Poor people watching images of poor people. Plastic supermarket bags. Hair gel. Jeans. Beards. Coughs. Doors opening. A beep. Doors closing. Movement. A smell of ash. Neon lights. Screws. Maps. Sports shoes. Hair. Four channel CCTVs. 3D commercials of an interior design company. 2D posters of a photo photography exhibition. 1D end. Things on the table. The table is white. It is surrounded by chairs. The interest I find in the table. The empty and full one. Fuels. Writing is easier on tables. It is easy writing on and about tables. They lend themselves. They support. Comfort. Inhabit a surface. A space. A field of possibilities. From one end to the other. About two metres. The table, in fact, is a door. Placed on a metal frame with legs. The space around the table. The wooden floor below the table. Lights. Water in the vase. Flowers. Empty shoes next to the heater. A garbage can. A fridge behind. Kitchen paper towels. Gloves. Cooking books. Empty bottles of alcohol. A rack. Vodka. Whiskey. In front, an empty beer can. Some letters on cubes. Keys. A piece of a plant. Scribbles on pink post-its. A blue cup. A white cup with geometric diagrams on it. An Asian teapot. Folders. Flyers. Photographs of a cat. One frontal, one profile. Postcards on a wall. A mirror. Cheese. Washed plates. Things on the fridge. Dishwash liquid. Eyes. A lamp from above. Feet on the chair in front. 6th December 2012 A tone of colour, of voice, a bag, something falling on the floor, footsteps, a floor, a ceiling, the window, sun coming in from the window, snow piled up on the ground outside, porridge, a red chair with holes in it, staring sounds, water from the sink, a mobile phone, the doctor, the flowers on top of the table, the table, my door, my stuff on the red and green chairs, a chocolate letter, winter trees, steam, bananas in the porridge, cinnamon, a bald head, a camera, something in the mouth, a red pen, a text in red, mushroom soup, tea, a cheese grater, a flight, New Year's, a dog, parents, a rack. 7th of December 2012. A performance in the evening, a dress code, snow, bed, hospital, a mobile phone, private teacher, orange, white, a suitcase, piles of clothes, some letters here, some letter there. A purple pillow. Smell of curry on fingers. A thermos. An empty chocolate box. A teddy bear. Slippers. A drawing of a girl reading and touching her chest. A calendar with photos from another country. Clothes. Ties. A scarf. A mirror. Pants. Some cream. The heater. A bird outside in the snow. The sound of the boats. A mobile phone. A door. A fire bell. People dining. Bartenders. Exclusion. Inclusion. Out. Cold. In. Warm. Sound of glasses. 
a bartender, a fridge, a bottle opening, dark corner, some bartender, sound of gas, people chatting, champagne, gas, a woolen hat, big LCD screens, a slideshow of scenes from a restaurant, four euros, coffee cups, a scarf, coat, shoes, a friend waiting for a friend, look, Christmas trees, time, mobile phone, a castle, a girl, cutlery, black marble, bar stools, two glasses of beer, the bartender and his champagne, noise, fear, alone, lights outside, 7.30, white wine, a question, tourists, the bartender, noise, pressure, the girl, a skirt, live music, an accordion, a guy with an accordion walking around, the bartender, his glasses, people with black coats, the wind, the bartender getting caught, nails, fingernails, a blue pen, this. Red lights, curtains, sex show, street, a purple bike, a poodle dog wearing a pink sweater, a crane, leather jackets, blood street, a heart, a drop of rain, women. Music, tits, a guy with a beard, snow, a clock, a big boat, prostitutes with mobile phones in windows, a guy, women with fur coats, a smell of a fart, someone shouting, tasty, toasty, cold, someone whistling, rooms for rent, posture, hot dogs, a bar, a big lady with big tits, beer, disco lights, a green line, a guided tour with children. A man standing alone, watching. Lights, camera, action. Music, chairs, a screen. Ladies, welcome, a DJ. A microphone, teeth, food. Garbage, boots, kids, a chair. Master, students, a bar, night, teacher, documentation, drinks, images, a boyfriend, shoes, lipstick. 8th of December, 2012. The day after the coffee. Sweaters, a candle, flowers, Hebrew letters, coffee, milk, Cup, a charged phone, coats, sun, snow, plants, banana colour on the colour pink, blue, a holiday, the battery, files, a wet dream, apples, a mirror behind plants, three flower pots in a row, a game, notes and a sugar thing, a scratch, a winter, Bed, a computer screen, music, orange, the market, food, beer, oranges, vegetables, couscous, a different coffee, more expensive, different milk, biological, pillows, a mantra thing that you can hold in your hand, a scratch, light, a teddy bear, window, Wind, O, oh. a scratch, black socks with red stars in them, a calendar, contours, cables, electricity plugs, cream, a mirror, a scratch, legs, jeans, sweater, a scratch, reflection of a lamp, in the reflection of the window, in the reflection of the mirror, a camera, a photo, back, 
legs, lamp, ceiling, a black shadow of a black sock on the orange wall, a curtain, blanket, scratch, a slice of a dried up toasted bread on a wooden placement, sunflower seeds, salt, lips, a receipt, a mobile phone, new clothes, an envelope, a fruit fly, yellow, silver, brown, white, big, smell, food, sugar, someone on Skype, an exhibition, friends back home, a brother, dinner, beers, go visible, go. 9th of December 2012 Tea, change, rain, breakfast, a full beer can from last night, earplugs, a scarf, house, shoes, work, books, a pillow, music, words, actions, bed, porridge, a bird, love, a code. Tomatoes, French cheese, a toast, boiling eggs, classical music, wind, tea. A house, work, money, flowers, a teapot, cheese, a blue towel, the mobile phone, earphones, a cream, a thermos, a coat, a black bag, salt, a tilted mirror. The teapot, a cup, a lamp, blanket, orange, a pillow, clothes, a house, a window, a bird, a roof, raindrops on the surface of the window, wind, a closet door, a pimple, nose, skin, finger, green curtain, the colour blue, noon, a rest, a pause of thought, a bike, a walk, a flight, sun, a spoon, keys, cream, salt, a receipt, flowers, peppers, oranges, apples, a red chair, a green chair, plants, carrots, a dysfunctional oven, matches. 10th of December 2012 Sun, sunflower seeds, biological milk, coffee, spoon, sugar, sliced dried almonds, salt, cream, butter, gloves, freshly baked bread, an airplane. 11th of December 2012 the music starts, the milk is a milk thing, the table, the words, they fill up stuff, they stick around. I remember a lesson in mathematics or philosophy, where the teacher referred to some other guy that was quoted as saying before his death, atoms exist. That was what he wanted to say. His last words were, atoms exist. You say I write like a camera. I agree. There is a mechanism, something that starts and stops. 12th of December 2012 I will make a list. This is what I will do. I will do this and nothing else. Not because I love lists, but because I love this, the putting down of stuff, the naming of them, the detachment that it enables. The understanding of the neutral tone of language, the emptiness of it, the falsification inherent in it. This list is nothing else but this, a list, a putting down of things and nothing else. Exercise the words, get them out of my system, make them disappear, destroy them, destruct them, until a letter remains, not even a letter, an idea of a letter, a movement towards a letter, 
a gasp, air, a shutting up, a silence, a nothing. Really nothing. Please make it so. Make the words disappear. Make me stop using this stupid language, this English, this Hebrew, this half Dutch that I know. Let me gasp. Let me open my mouth and breathe. I'm choking from your words. I'm suffocating here. Please release me. Let me be. Let me look. Let me hear. But please don't make me talk. Don't make me speak. Please. Yellow lemons in a blue plastic bag. A red chair. Light. Pink flowers. Pastel green cupboards. Plants. Notebooks. Pens. Deodorant. Bad odour from my shoes. Shelves. Pineapples. The oven. 88, 88. Milk. Pots. Coffee. Coats. A charger. A wooden floor. Hints. Props. Substitutes. The flowers. The trees. The church. The clouds. The horizon. The aftermath, the after image, the after life, the after school, the after shave, the after party, the after man, the after shock, the after death, the after dark, the after effects, the after thought, the after taste, the afternoon, the after world, the aftermath. A bookcase, a lamp. An A0 size paper on the floor. Records. CDs. Chairs. A printer. A poster on the door. Shelves. A sofa. Windows. A heater. A table lamp. A thermos. A miniature globe. Speakers. A few hours a day, I look at the screen. It glows. I glow with it. White light is reflected from my skin. I wear a grey pullover. As I write, I see it bathe in the glowing light of the screen. It should disgust me, but it doesn't. I am fond of this artificial light, this electricity. 13th of December, 2012. The tram, the metro, the bus, the train, vehicles, the word... The image, the voice, the smell. Vehicles go there, come back. Information, data, communication. No interference, clarity, no obstacle. Understanding, who are you? How do you smell like? Why are you reading this? We animals crave for companionship. We know each other, wherever it is, whatever it is whenever it is. The water, trees, cooking school, swans, a wooden bridge, some grass, cars, a dog peeing or pooing, a building, offices, bald heads, ice. Distilled has become still, movement, stillness, static, freezing, stopping, stop. Nail art, dentist, physiotherapist, night shop, bad. I'll start that, that section again, that's okay. Nail art, dentist, physiotherapist, night shop, bed textile, sushi, hairdresser, flower shop, house utilities stall, supermarket, tram stop, child care. Café, highway, house to sell, beauty centre, night shop, Turkish pizza, hairdresser, flower shop, home doctor, bar, lake, bowling, events place, bank, designer clothes shop, lifestyle, bank, photo store, travel agency. There is too much manipulation out there for me to want to think of you. I will not convince you, attract you, define you, understand you, portray you, address you, undress you. 
It is zero degrees outside, says a digital sign. My favourite number. Not here. Not there. Everywhere. Zero. The question to everything. The question to anything. I wish to be a zero. Neutral. Unbiased. Round. Equal from all angles. In harmony. Not adding a thing. Not subtracting a thing. There. Present. Alive. Self-contained. 17th of December, 2012. The reason you don't know. Look out the window. Rest. Horizontal attitudes. A pause. Happy day. A doctor's appointment. Love. It will be all right. Take care. Give care. Laugh. A sneeze. Healthy instincts. Legs. Natura morta. Still alive. Sunrise. Pink clouds. Soft music. A cough. A bird. Another bird. Clouds moving across the window. The window is divided into two parts. A bird. Another bird. Toilet paper. A vase full of water. A teapot. A cup. Table with pills. A mirror. A pillow. Good health. The costs. The deaths. The guns. The horror. The kids. The kid. The law. The lives. The mother. The nation. The parents. The police. The president. The shock. The sorrow. The story. The teachers. The town. The cheese, the honey, the tea, the pills, the phone, the insurance documents. A phone number written with a red pen on a white note. A flashlight. Drafts of a home game. Plants, sweatshirts, marmalade, backache, legache, home cinema. People on public transport seem to be immersed in their subjectivity. It looks like they make sense to themselves, that they know what's going on, not necessarily as a mental state or such, but more in a visual sense. Their looks adapt to their being. They are they, them. There is no distance between how they look like and who they look like, at least not to me. Two blue cups on two different corners of the table. Instant soup. New pills. Groceries, plastic bags, socks, shoes, pasta with sardines, corn, candy, cheese. Kids rehearsing for the fireworks at the end of the year. Some cars blow their horn outside. Someone in a conversation with someone else via Skype. Bad music from a sometimes good, sometimes bad radio station. A bad sax is like bad sex. You tilt it lightly. Tea comes pouring out into the cup. The sound of a liquid being poured is heard. The cup gets full of the liquid. It is tea. It is a cup of tea. It came from the teapot. The pot with the tea. You grab the cup of tea with your two fingers. You tilt the cup towards your mouth. A liquid comes pouring out of the cup and into your mouth. You drink the liquid. It is tea. It is tasty. It is a tasty cup of tea. You grab the cup again. You tilt it again. Again, liquid comes out of the cup and into your mouth. Again, it is tea. Again, it is tasty. It is another tasty sip from the cup of tea. As your mouth gets full of tea, the cup gets empty. You tilt the cup about two or three more times until the liquid in the cup disappears. It all went into your mouth. The liquid was tea. Now the teacup is empty. It is no longer a teacup. Just another cup. No liquid. No tea. No nothing. Just a cup. Real time. 18th of December 2012 People shouting in Arabic in the street outside. The window opens. 
more shouting occurs. Tea is in the teapot. Ginger, lemon, honey, tea, used toilet paper, books, magazines, folders, a globe, a box with a drawing of bananas on it, earphones connected to the computer, a lamp, brushes, curtains, a stapler, a cough, a sneeze, toilet paper. 19th of December 2012 Health insurance, home address, credit card, code, mobile phone, mobile credit, Skype, Skype credit, billing address, customer service, correspondence address, landlord, hourly rate, work, postal service, email, mail. The books touch the wall, the mobile phone touches the earphones, the teapot touches the plate it is on, the pen touches the pad it is on, the table lamp touches the empty plastic pallet, the papers touch each other, the post-it touches the photocopy, the towel, the folder, the fingers, the keyboard, the charger cord, the table. Emails with yellow stars next to them. White screen with some black letters on it. A room with some objects in it. A semi-transparent curtain veiling an outside world. The guy, he can't read, he can't write. He looks, he stares, he stares into the night. It's a dark night, there is no moon. He is outside the city, in the countryside. He walks slowly through the landscape, careful not to stumble upon anything. He makes an estimation of the distance he is from the nearby city. He has some water in his bag. He drinks it. He breathes. He puts the bag down to rest. The night is completely silent. He closes his eyes. He waits without doing a thing. He feels the air on his skin. He hears his own breath. 20th of December 2012 Read me, write me, talk to me, digest me, inhale me, exhale me. Take me in, take me out, flip me around. I will listen, I will be in silence, I will behave, I will look at you, I will follow you, I will try to understand, I will try to make sense. I will get lost in your words. We will change positions. We will merry-go-round. They say the end is near, fear, beer, rear, gear, year, here, ter, mere, queer. Off the radar, where no one can see you, where no one can teach you, where no one can preach you, where no one can fear you, where no one can kill you, where no one can cheer you, where no one can hug you, where no one can call you, where no one can know you, where no one can hear you, where no one can. You sit at the table, you look at the computer, but there is something you want to write about, but something holds you back. It is the circumstances, the surrounding. It is yourself. You are holding back. You are closed up, afraid, sensitive, angry. You disguise yourself. You try to be something you are not. You are a warm person. You try to behave like a cold person, like someone who doesn't give a fuck. The problem is that you do give a fuck. You care. You love. You are passionate. You can't continue pretending. You can't keep up this show. So leave the computer, let it rest, and start behaving like you really are. 21st of December 2012 You divide yourself in two. You keep one half for yourself and one half you give to others. What you have left for yourself is half of you, half of what you used to be, and what you give to others 
is also half of what you used to be. Now you are spread out, half here, half there. You could write continuously without going on a break, all day, all year long. The teacup seems a bit shy next to the teapot. A breath, a sneeze, a waking up, a pouring of the tea, a tryout. I'll do that last section again. A breath, a sneeze, a waking up, a pouring of the tea, a tryout. Easy gestures for times that demand easy measures. There is that book and that show and that interview and that presentation and that performance and that review and that residency and that lecture and that grant and that collaboration and that prize and that application and that degree. 22nd of December 2012 Numbers will make a new language, obsolete, irrelevant, null. Empty tea, full tea, empty tea, full tea, empty tea, full tea, empty, full, emp, tea, fool. A bird crosses through the semi-veiled window frame. The space of freedom is restricted and extended by the bird, by the frame by the semi-transparent cloth hanging from the window panel, colouring the grey sky, white-grey, white freedom. The grey bird crosses the grey sky through the semi-veiled window frame. He wrote in optimal conditions. There were no phone calls, no family gatherings, no holidays, no relevant news, no distractions, no mail, no work, no children, no boss, no landlord, no friends, no debts, no health condition, no noise, no smell, no language, no tribe, no misunderstandings, no TV, no immediate threat. Now he is older, he tells himself, a serious shirt, a mirror, a giraffe in front of a mirror, a polar bear in front of a giraffe, a spacious encounter, facial hair. He touches his facial hair, it's growing. A panda bear faces the carpet, house, shoes, a book. He lies down, he sits up. A sense of fear, a sense of the unexpected, a sense of the emotional, a sense of despair, a sense of equanimity. I'll do that last section again. A sense of fear, a sense of the unexpected, a sense of the emotional, a sense of despair, a sense of equanimity, a sense of comfort. Being a medium, a vehicle, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a Porsche, a Pontiac, A, B, M, W. A Chrysler, a Citroen, a Mercedes, a Jaguar. 23rd of December 2012 He writes in a dark attic A small table lamp alone The evening sky aside His legs stretch forward His thoughts wander backwards The rain pours down 27th of December 2012 Suitcases on trolleys, lights Check-in desks, a red suitcase in front of a guy. His wife sits next to me, he sits next to her. The wife says something, the guy stands up, the guy sits down again. He turns his back to his wife. He looks outside of the window, into the parking lot. He says something, she says something. More people with suitcases pass by. Neon Christmas billboards. Kids with Nikes. European soldiers with Israeli machine guns. Lines. Screens. Aesthetics of transit. Wheels. Luggage. Documents. Big clocks. Letters and numbers. Arrows. 
A mind, a step, a machine repeating. Mind your step. Reflections of people in windows. A flight, a departure time, indicating a loss of control. Airport sports bar, lamp posts. Rows of black pseudo leather chairs. Airport vehicles. People leaving. Other people behind computers, helping them to leave. Coats, shoes, dudes on bar stools drinking beer. A fire hose. A guy with flowers. Communication devices. People carrying babies on their back. Gate B17. Swiss Air. Swiss Safety Instructions. Swiss Magazine. Swiss stewardesses, Swiss seats, Swiss silence, Swiss water, Swiss taste of Switzerland, Swiss monitors, Swiss reading lights, Swiss traditions, Swiss windows, Swiss first, Swiss passengers, Swiss scarves, Swiss ladies and gentlemen, Swiss carpets, Swiss cheese sandwich, Swiss napkin, Swiss beverages, Swiss chocolate. 29th of December 2012 A green pen that doesn't work, a red pen that does, framed works of art, suitcases, a bed, the window, curtains, flowers, Humour is gaps unexplained. Shoe boxes, dirty clothes in the corner of the room. A bed lamp in the shape of a light bulb. Cream, deodorant, miniature Bombay sapphire gin bottles. Shelves, electricity. Air conditioning vents. A toothbrush, blue pyjamas. An empty sunglasses case. A game of Yahtzee. Iraq, fig vodka, cappuccino tasting anise, a winner, some losers, five dice. 31st of December 2012. A mobile phone on a digital pocket camera, bended pine trees, a dog, a playground, sounds of kids playing, the sun, a car alarm going off, a short-sleeved t-shirt, pants, shoes, dirt, skyscrapers, a jet ski on a wagon, a bird on the ground, sounds of more birds on trees, a graffiti saying ride on a concrete stage structure, a fountain covered with small pebbles, a leash, a pine tree trunk, a girl reading a book leaning on the pine tree trunk. The dog rolling around in the dirt, her tongue outside its mouth, cooling itself off on the ground. A pine cone, the sound of a private aircraft, a water tank. More sounds of aircrafts. Two small girls swinging on swings. The ray of the sun shining through the pine trees. 1st of January 2013 A group of young men around meet. Green garbage containers spread out in the park. A roller coaster, a black mamba. A plastic bag rolling through the park. Black dots of birds line up on top of the electricity lines. Behind me, a gated little sculpture park. A dog shares the view with me. Free is the sun to display its own meaning throughout the cityscape, the playground of sight. 2nd of January, 2013. It took some time for him to realise that he needed a she, a female entity, something he was not, an other, another other, another other 
he was not. She was on the beach reading a book, a pencil in her hand, marking marks to remark in a later occasion. The birds, the sun, the people, the chairs, the hip, the hop, the hip hop. A team of kids team up, eager to start moulding sand. Bare feet, bottles of beer, money, sunglasses, Americans, French, Israelis, sharing pieces of land. Retired Europeans holding digital cameras, walking back and forward, then bending back, finding their viewfinder, losing grip on reality in the land of milk and honey. Money is funny. I would like to turn myself into an apple, the way inside passes through closed doors. 3rd of January 2013 The sun, the set, the sunset, the air, the plane, the airplane, the here, the now, the here now, the chain, the neck, your neck in a chain. The page was for him, a place to go to, a place of image where reality took on a thin shape. The falafel, the mirror, the salt, the pepper, the newspaper, the kitchen, the tables, people at tables eating hummus, the mobile phone in the pocket, the red pen, the menu, the napkins, the owner, the toothpick, the exit sign. The sink, the soap, the surveillance camera, the foreign worker, the guy, the lady, the green chilli peppers. The reflection of the notebook, the reflection of the Fanta, the red light in the backyard, the people, the wealthy woman, the lamps, the swinging kitchen door, the bottles full of olive oil, the guy talking about his wife, the guy talking about his mother-in-law, the good things that he says about his wife, the good things that he says about his mother-in-law. The dark park at night, the small religious kid, the trees barely lit by the light coming from the street lamp, the guy on a bike, the guy strolling, sounds of kids playing in the playground, the dogs, the owners of the dogs, the cars outside the park, the living sheds, the guy on his mobile, the insect, the guy carrying his child on his belly, the fluorescent lights from the sheds, the light reflecting from a faraway star, the leather jacket, the scooter, a fridge, a dog, a rocking chair, sofas, a dysfunctional TV playing YouTube clips through its speakers. Curtains, windows, tables. A pillow, a hat, olive oil, cornflakes, coffee, a mobile phone, coupons, house shoes, a house, the house. Framed photographs with passe partout. A view, a pendulum clock, a balcony, floor. Door, wooden cupboards, trees lit lightly by the sun, cups, a wine bottle cast, wine bottles, the fingernails of the dog, a hat, a teaspoon, a remote control. 4th of January 2013. The pencil, the hummus, the salt, the pepper, the menu, the people, the Coca-Cola. The dog, the market, the sunglasses, the kipper, the plastic bags, the napkins, the shoes, the lemonade, the hummus, the broad bean, the boiled egg, the complete, the onion, the lemon, the balconies, the mobile phones, the pitta, the kid on a small plastic scooter, the t-shirts, the brother, the newspaper, the electric wires, the cumin, the leopard skin pullover, 
her ear. He wrote into her body the words. He had no other place to hide the body. Her body lent itself to his words. She made space in her body for his messages. People write into each other, lending their body to one another. A girl taking a photo of a couple taking a photo of a guy taking a photo of a group of people going into the sea. He was for once completely relaxed, five minutes to midnight. He sat back in his chair and enjoyed being there, in that place, without answers. He was tanned, his skin dry, his stomach full. 5th of January 2013 Arabic coffee, rain, a wooden camel, a big sculpture of an Egyptian cat on the bar, a bottle of water, Yatsi, Nazareth olive oil, plastic bags full of water hanging from the ceiling, colourful blinking lights, an air conditioner on heating mode, a teenager with a cap playing computer games behind the bar, a bus, stairs, a huge fish, a poster of Jesus, a poster of Maria, a poster of Maria holding Jesus. A Christmas tree on wheels, a pomegranate juice stand, another big sculpture of an Egyptian cat on the bar, a big speaker, a blinking modem, a guy with a belly, a big fan, pink straws, a rotating shawarma, a broom leaning on the wall, underneath a photo of people praying in a mosque, the toilet, digital cameras, umbrellas, fluorescent lights, a guy with a tattoo on his mobile. 7th of January 2013. The dark night took him by surprise. The only thing that could be seen was the scene, the construction, the set, the build-up. He was getting weary of make-believing. He simply wanted to transmit without losing any information, like a perfect antenna, blinking once or twice throughout the night. You look into the camera, you convey a message, you have glitter around your eyes. You call me a baby, baby. What was he thinking? People tried to understand. They wanted to get to know him better, to feel what he felt, to think what he thought, to see what he saw, to know the reasons of why he behaved in this way. They tried to find themselves in him, to equate their life with his, to forget for a while about their own problems. They wanted to make room for an encounter, to meet him there on the page, at once both far and near. They wanted this meeting to last. They wanted him to remember them, even when he didn't know them personally. They wanted a friend. They wanted someone to love. They wanted someone to hate. They wanted someone else to do the work for them. They wanted to see their own reflection. They wanted to compare his decisions with theirs. His risk with their risk. His chances with their chances. They wanted to make an account. They wanted to get a good deal. They wanted to be dealt a good hand. At least as good as his. They wanted him to explain themselves to others. They wanted to remember him. They wanted him to represent them, to describe them, to interpret them. They wanted him to unite them. But above all, they wanted him to name them. They were his readers. 8th of January 2013 He was a photographer. Light attracted him. It moved him. He had a strong sense for speed, even though, more often than not, he didn't know where he was heading. The camera pointed him in a direction. It became a tool to measure his velocity, making visible the relationship between time and his own displacement. 
his change of position could be derived from his photographs once set in motion. He could trace his way back, but this would mean a loss of speed. So instead, he just kept going towards the light. 9th of January 2013. The entrance to the tomb, a line of people, candles, silver, copper, gold, ornaments, a barrier saying police in Hebrew and English, people taking photos, ropes, three Armenian ladies, umbrellas, a dome ceiling, people going into the tomb, a guy touching his iPhone, a guy wearing religious looking black clothes, a guy with a beard talking to the guy wearing black, lamps, a shoebox, Greek looking alphabet, a lady getting VIP treatment, skipping the line to the tomb, a guy telling me not to sit with crossed legs, people still waiting in line, snow outside. 10th of January 2013. The storm, the rain, the snow, the shower, the bird on the wet roof, the skyscrapers, the dog licking its legs, the second bird hopping on the wet roof, the bird flying through the sky, the newspaper, the magazine, the cars in the distance, scarves, a rolled up carpet behind the sofa, the pain in the neck when turning left, the pendulum clock on the right. 13th of January 2013. A mobile phone company, a commercial in Russian, windows, wafers, public phones, announcements from speakers, a fellow passenger studying math, a guy wearing a shirt with stripes, people sitting on the floor facing airplanes, passports, ports of passage, a baby sleeping in a carriage, ice coffee. 14th of January 2013. An analogue camera on a wooden chest, a book, a thin giraffe, sculpture facing the corner, a stereo, white curtains, birds in the sunny sky outside, a doll of a gorilla, a toy helicopter, a Playmobil house, bookshelves, plants, a speaker, a cactus touching the purple wall, chords, an acoustic guitar, someone showering, Polaroids, a heated wooden floor, another bed. 23rd of January 2013. I will write a bit about this and a bit about that, just to keep the muscle in shape, just to remember that I still remember, just to have a good excuse for drinking the beer, just to keep myself busy, to sit in that posture when the back is a tiny bit more straight, when the senses are somewhat attentive, when every little noise the fridge makes feels much more meaningful, and the fridge keeps humming, and the back can be completely erect, and the senses somewhat attentive, but this will remain this, and that will remain that. 27th of January 2013. The snow melts slow in the low countries. It takes some time for the snow and for the people watching the snow to let go. 5th of February 2013. The truth is you are exhausted. You try to keep a straight face. You smile to people. You say thank you. You awake early. You go to sleep late. You cook your own dinners. You watch movies online. You bike, you walk, you wear a coat, you sit in public transport, you look at the weather report, you hold the pen in your mouth, you hope. 